fuck any other radio station. You're listening to The Rodriguez Show. This is your girl, Gucci Mar. And we back on The Rodriguez Show here on Hits 101 Radio. And we have our very first special guest for the episode, Farron Kid from The Black OC. How's it going, man? Hey, brother. Thank you for having me out. Yeah, man. You've been here a couple times. You know how it is here in The Rodriguez Show. I <laughs> love The Rodriguez Show. Thanks, man. Uh, right away, at The Black OC, T-H-E, Black OC on Instagram. And you got the Get Hooked series there featuring some of our past guests, Doughboy Tony, Julissa, Frosty, uh, Data Boy, so many more. Um, but before we talk about the Get Hooked, what have you been up to, man? You, you haven't talked to us in a while. Busy, man. Just, yeah. um, you know, still uh, always developing the brand, always trying to expand, uh, penetrate, you know, new networks and just advance juice culture, juice artist culture as a whole yeah is how, how do you find like because you're at all the events like how do you keep track of all these like where do you find these new events to go to um i network so i and i, I show up you know it's just um it's like that so if, if somebody's doing something i'm out there uh, i create the con I, I create content i tag as many people as i know yeah. um people respond people see what i'm doing they're like hey we doing this out here we doing this out here so just through that process i've just built up kind of like a, a insider artist network Pretty yeah. much if somebody's doing something and it pertains to the juice, yeah. they're tagging me and they're letting me know. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of we found out about you through somebody else who's on the show. So it's, it's good to network like that, man. Like we got to start doing that more often as mm -hmm. well. Uh, so the black walk, the block walk, block hey. walk that happened. Was that January or yeah, January? January. Yep. How was it? Um, so the block walk was super duper dope. Um, unfortunately, the rain came and it yeah. took away the um, they canceled the uh, Santa Ana art walk. Mm. Um, which you know I, that's really that was one a big feature of the block walk was yeah. to showcase urban culture in orange county arts culture in orange county and i was really looking forward to taking our audience um through the streets of santana and taking them to the art walk so they could see just how much how creative we are out here mm -hmm. but outside of that we danced in the rain we had a good time um uh, Apollo was dope. Allah's was super dope. Yeah. And the spirit was there. It was the first block walk. Definitely not the last block walk. That is from he here forth. Jews County culture tradition. Yeah, that was tight too. Even even with the rain, you had a pe bunch of people walking too. Yeah. So. But that was cool, man. That's commitment. Uh, and we were there. We uh, we stopped by for the beginning and we saw Apollo. And Apollo, all, they had like a carp, a thing covering yeah, them up. To, and it was still tight. Though. <laughs> had to rush to to, uh, to uh, Walmart real fast and buy a tarp. Oh, you did? The yeah, last minute? Yeah, last minute. <laughs> uh so you got now you got the get hooked series on instagram tell us about it so um i i initially launched get hooked maybe about a year ago um oh, yeah yeah but i i froze the project because i felt like there were some weaknesses in the project that i needed to iron out um as always i'm trying to do the best job that i can do to represent um uh, as dope as possible for for the for the culture mm -hmm. um out here so I, I i paused it i meditated on it i prayed on it and finally i felt like you know uh the creator gave me the creativity he said run it back so i relaunched um you guys can see uh some of that initial content on the black oc page mm -hmm. however i got some special artists that i'm doing interviews with and those interviews will become available exclusively on the get hooked ig page once oh, okay. we transition over there okay so what is that just at get hooked or what is it it's a uh, at get hooked ig and so basically um get hooked is just trying to find a way to i meet so many artists and they want to work but it's always kind of the same relationship between an artist uh, uh, uh audio artist and a visual artist hey mm -hmm. let's shoot a music video mm -hmm. the problem with shooting a music video is that's very lengthy projects and secondly this is my business yeah uh, a lot of independent artists do not have the financing necessary to be able to financially compensate me for such a big project mm -hmm. so i try to think about uh, you know how do we how am i how do i work with as many artists as possible create something that doesn't break my neck but it's still of quality for them yeah and how do we do all of that in 60 seconds because mm -hmm. most of the artists promote their music or and or music videos through instagram mm -hmm. um an artist can do a full-length project and go hey um here's a sample of it click the link in the bio to go to youtube to watch the full series but the reality is life is so fast no nah. So how do we create for Instagram? So through that, through trying to meet, solve all those problems, we created Get Hooked. Mm -hmm. And it's cool, man. It's, it's a lot of artists speaking on their art, basically, mm -hmm. right? They come on, they introduce themselves to Instagram. Um, then they break down the hook 
from a track that they select, we play only the hook. That's mm-hmm. the part of the song that's most likely to, people are most likely to respond to anyways. Mm-hmm. And then they come in and they say, hey, so basically this hook is about starting from the bottom and working your way up to the top. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you pick who... How do you pick who you feature on these videos? Um, so initially, I, I, you know, I, I'm about hip hop. Uh, I'm, I try as best as I'm able to represent artists and work with artists who have positive messages. Mm-hmm. You know, it's to me, it's not just about talent. To me, it's not just about um, a, a rating or viewership. It's very much about message. Um, so I'm a big proponent of that. So the artists that I kind of um, sampled with and premiered with were artists that I've developed a relationship with, artists that I felt were dope, and artists that have the kind of messagery that I represent. Mm -hmm. Um, From there, however, um, it is something that I do charge for. Mm -hmm. It is work for me. It's dope piece of content. You get several pieces of content. The artists get several pieces of content from it. Mm -hmm. Um, So after I released, then the DM started, hey, what's up with this? What's up with this? I let them know if you're, this is how much I charge. And from there, it became, it's that's price range. Who's going to, who, it's about who pays for the service. Yeah. And we don't have to talk exact numbers, but I'm sure you make it affordable for the person too. Well, so that was another thing was how do I create a piece of content that's that's of quality and is budget friendly, but we, I'm not, I have no shame in it. I charge the artist a hundred dollars for the get hooked interview. That's not bad at all. At all. Especially considering how much work you have to do, because it's not easy to put that stuff together. Like the no. graphics, and people just think, "Oh, he just throws up the video." It's not that comp- not that easy. Yeah, no, nah. you can, and you can look, and you can see from the product that it's clearly it's it's well thought out and it's quality content. It does mm-hmm. take it. I can get them in uh, for for the session, probably you know usually within an hour, um, but the amount of editing that I have to put in, um, you know, is 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 several hours worth of editing. It's a budget friendly product. Yeah, man, you get you got me feeling like I should charge people to be on this show. <laughs> uh, I think that I think that be, does become you know because obviously this is Eventually. yeah this Eventually. is you know but you guys are laying down those foundations and that is yeah, important. It's true. Uh, so any highlights so far? Anything anything stood out out of so far from the Get Hooked series? Like somebody that was surprised you? Um, no, I, it's everybody. Everybody is dope. Um, but I did have some people that have taken notice. Some some um entrepreneurs. I had a brother. He's a he's a multimillionaire. Uh, you know, very successful. And he saw the series, took interest in it. I actually just drove down to L.A. Mm-hmm. a couple of days ago and sat with him about four or five hours looking at um, developmentation opportunities to help expand the series. Mm-hmm. So um, I think um, while the artists, they definitely are showing love to it. The artists are purchasing the services. I have several interviews that I'll be shooting this week. Yeah. They see it as dope. It's kind of like for them um, a campaign opportunity. They got a new track. They need a, a cool way to help promote that track yeah. and bring attention to it. Get Hooked is ideal for that situation. Um, and so what I'm looking at right now is just getting the financing necessary um, to get some larger artists that obviously I'm going to have to invest in to get them to do the platform yeah. um, and through that begin to expand the platform so that way uh, when the smaller independent artists come on the show they have access to something that uh, greater artists are doing yeah, yeah. it's 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 a good association and exposure it's, it's like the perfect thing because then yeah like you said they associate with oh this person's been on it i can be on it too it's so easy you know it's like um what's the do a uh, genius you seen yeah, you yeah, familiar yeah, with exactly. genius interviews and it's really inspired from that model right there yeah because they do like chance the rapper and then they'll do somebody i've never heard of too yeah exactly you know and that's perfect because they're both putting out their promoting their art in the same way if you're if you're an indie artist right now and you jump on instagram in the orange county artist network and you go yeah i was just on genius yeah guess what you're 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 the shit yeah exactly you know? <laughs> But how do we build platforms like that for ourselves? That's yeah. the that's the real question. Yeah. And that's the thing too. It's like I like what you're doing because it's not even overthinking. You're just putting it out there and creating it. That's the only way anybody's going to get anywhere is just starting it. Like I knew this show wasn't going to be like right off the top. People, it's going to be a central thing to Orange County. But you're building towards it, mm-hmm. and you're never going to if you stop and think about how long it's going to take. You're not going to do it. You have to just keep pushing. You, know? you guys have stood out as premier, yeah. um, and there's going to be a project as we had discussed just a little bit. Um, yeah coming up in the near future that i'm definitely gonna invite you guys to that i think will be something that'll be able to take everybody to those higher levels Mm -hmm. um and orange county as a whole to a place where we're lucrative yeah where we can all begin to eat as artists we don't just got to remain the starving artists exactly i mean i'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward to like it growing man and that's something i was going to ask you like what so you've been doing this for a while now you were here almost a year ago the first time 
Uh, what have you learned so far being so active in the music scene in Orange County? So I think probably like all the all the regular things. I think I'm very optimistic, um, mm -hmm. and I think people are more committed to this endeavor than I am. Uh, and I've had to learn kind of the hard way that um, people aren't going to um, come with the same kind of belief and commitment level yeah. that that I am. Um, and I can't, you know, that's cool. That's that's all to the good. But as I'm um, creating things and with expectations of people um, participating, uh, I have to make sure that the people that I'm inviting in and relying on at those times are people that are actually reliable. Yeah. So yeah. even just as an example, I had um, two artists that were supposed to come out for the block walk and last yeah. minute psh, couldn't make it. But the show must go on. Yeah. And I know they look back and they was like, dang. And yeah. I can't tell sometimes, are you, did you do that because it's genuine and sincere or did you kind of do that because you, are you trying to create a situation where I fail? Yeah. But I can't fail, brother. You, you got to keep doing it. Like even like some, somebody probably would have seen the rain and been like, I can't do this today, but you pushed through it. Yeah. And to me, it was still successful, man. And, mm -hmm. and I feel like everybody was on the same page. It was a successful event. Man. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, so what are your goals for the year? We talked about some stuff behind the scenes uh, before we start recording, but what can you tell us about what's coming up this year? Yeah, man. So, um, so I'm excited because we are. So I'm a, I'm gonna keep the details a little bit covert only yeah, yeah. because I want to make sure that um, the marketing campaign that goes behind this thing is gonna be it's gonna be grassroots. So it's gonna be powerful, uh, but it's also it's, it's gonna be premium. It's gonna reflect, you know, a industry standard marketing campaign for artists as far as the producers as far as the visual artists as far as the promoters as far as the event spaces and it's going to be a collaborative project so i'll just say this um black oc in collaboration with several other um, individuals and organizations um is going to drop a project that will be year long mm -hmm be a full commitment to a, a, the whole year and we'll have the rest of the world look down at us and say that is that's how you do it mm -hmm. that's how you move from nothing to something and uh um i'm confident we, we'll, drake will be up in here oh, will be yeah. In here. yeah cole will be in here i right. hope they all come here and they come to the show too yeah. you know what i'm saying they come to rodriguez show mm -hmm. since you're already in orange county come through uh yeah exactly uh that's great man we can't you talked to us about uh we talked to us about us being a part of it and we're excited and uh, we're excited for everything that you got going on in black oc man yeah uh, 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 anything else you want to tease anything else you got um so um uh, uh, um yeah, there was something, but uh, in any case, man, just I appreciate you guys um, for affording the opportunities. Definitely reach now soon. I appreciate the whole Juice culture. Everybody, stay inspired, keep moving. There's big things coming, and we look forward to everybody's participation, support, and contribution. Nobody could do everything. Everybody could do something. Divided we fall, united we stand. So let's stay together. Let's push as as one group of people, and let's let's make a let's make a noise loud enough that the world will hear it and have no choice but to submit to it and respect and appreciate it. Hey, follow him at the Black OC on Instagram. Watch the Get Hooked series. Moving soon to hit at Get Hooked IG. Right. Yes, sir. For now, we're still on the Black OC. Yep. Uh, so we got before you leave. We have not done this segment called Sixty Seconds with, with <sighs> you. So I'm sure you've seen it online. Yes, I have. Um, Spooky. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you a series of questions. First thing that comes to mind, and we'll try to get through as many of them as we can in the 60 seconds. Are you ready? Uh, barely, but absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> ready over there, timer? You got ready? Okay, tell me when to go. Favorite comic book character? Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Spider-Man. There you go. Favorite song right now? Oh. <sighs> Um, dreamers by unspoken views. Do you have a hidden talent? Mm, love making. Hey. <laughs> First CD you ever bought? Oh, Salt and Pepper. Hey, there you go. Proud of it. Uh, first song you illegally downloaded? I saw that one on the thing. I've, I I can't recall ever illegally downloading anything. Oh wow! There I mean, go. outside of YouTube, maybe like uh, I do now, but I I can't even got an answer for that yeah. one. That's a true person that supports artists right there favorite non-hip-hop genre um rock for early 2000s hip-hop or early 90s oh early 90s it's 
Spotify, Apple Music, or Tidal? Spotify. Sports car or classic car? Uh, sports car. And that was 60 Seconds with Fair Kid from The Black OC. Thank you for being here, hey. man. Come back anytime, of course, when the new project's coming. You know, you'll you'll come back and promote oh, it. Oh, wait, can I clarify one thing real fast? What's up, what's Even up? though it's 60 Seconds over. Oh, my bad, y'all. Black Panther is my favorite superhero. Oh, okay, cool. I just Thank went you. into that, you know, when I was a youth. No, Black <laughs> Panther, clearly. Black Panther. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. At The Black OC on Instagram. And come back anytime, bro. Right on, brother. Let's do it, Mondo. Take it away, and we got another guest after this.